Hello, I'm Tom Palmer, CEO of Newmont Gold Corp, and I'm pleased to be able to share with you our third quarter results, along with an update on our projects and the progress that we are making to integrate Gold Corp into Newmont. Before I do that, I'd like to start with an update on our safety performance. First, I want to take a moment to remind you that November 11 will mark one year since the passing of our colleague Romney Natapu when he was run over by a loader and died at the Pete Baho underground mine in Nevada. We all need to reflect on what we have done to ensure this never happens again. The key learning from this tragic incident was around ensuring all vehicles are parked in a fundamentally stable manner at all times. I'm pleased to report we have just completed our 12th of 14 site safety culture reviews. This has been a significant investment of time over the last three or four months and involved many people across our business. Later this month, I'll be reviewing global improvement opportunities identified from this work with my senior leadership team. Finally, during the quarter, we were pleased to be ranked as the leading gold producer in the Dow Jones Sustainability World Index. This is the fifth year that we've earned this distinction. It is important recognition for the work that all of us do to lead our industry in the environmental, social and governance performance area. In October, we achieved three very important milestones by commissioning the next three projects in our pipeline. These were the Ahafo Mill expansion in Ghana, the new Borden underground mine in Canada and the Ketcha Main mine and leach pad in Peru. I'd like to thank our teams in Africa, North and South America for their work to deliver these projects on schedule and within budget. The capability to consistently deliver our projects is a core strength of Newmont Gold Corp. I'm also very pleased that earlier this month, our Board of Directors unanimously approved our recommendation to invest in the second expansion at Tanami in Australia. The main scope of this project is to install a one and a half kilometre deep production shaft that will allow us to access ore at depth more efficiently than using just trucks and a decline. This project will improve costs and extend the life of this world-class mine beyond 2040. Turning now to our results for the third quarter of this year. On the back of 1.6 million ounces of gold production and all in sustaining costs of $990 per ounce, we were able to generate over $1 billion in EBITDA for the quarter and generate free cash flow of $365 million. This is a very solid quarter particularly given it is our first full quarter after closing both the Gold Corp acquisition and the joint venture in Nevada. It also sets us up for a solid fourth and final quarter this year. We are also making great progress on delivering the commitments we made on the Gold Corp acquisition. It is just over six months since this deal closed back in April. And in that time, we have generated improvements in support costs, procurement spend, and through our full potential work. These all add up to a run rate of $240 million in value by the end of this year. More than two thirds of the commitment we made to deliver a run rate of $365 million in value by the end of 2021. Full potential is well underway at Penasquito in Mexico and Sierra Negro in Argentina, and we've just commenced early in or in Canada. So there is significant upside potential on these numbers. On top of all this work, we also stood up the Nevada Gold Mines joint venture at the start of this quarter. It was an enormous amount of work to achieve this milestone, and many people are still working very hard to support the JV whilst we get all the systems and processes properly up and running so that it can fully stand on its own two feet. So there are a lot of people who have been working incredibly hard to help deliver this value, some of them spending a lot of time away from home. I would like to thank all of you for your efforts to help deliver this value. It is this commitment and dedication that makes Newmont Gold Corp the world's leading gold company. Although we've made great progress, there is still more work to do to ensure that we continue to safely deliver on our promises and generate superior value from our business. This is an exciting time for Newmont Gold Corp, and I look forward to providing another business update next quarter.